Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have another example of a composite plate. In this case, we also have a hole in the plate. Notice the odd shape. And we're trying to find the coordinates of the center mass, both in the x and the y direction. Notice that we put the origin right down here. So what is the center of mass of this particular object? Again, it's supposed to be a thin plate. We expect the thickness to be uniform, the density to be uniform, so we can use area instead of mass to find the center mass or the center of gravity. Also notice that we've divided our plate into different sections. We have the triangular section down here, so let's say about section number one. We have a rectangular section, let's call that section number two. We have a semicircular section, let's call that three. We include this entire area here as a semicircular section. And then we have to subtract this hole, let's call the hole number four. The way we do that is, to, let's start with the y direction. So the the y coordinate of the center mass is equal to the sum of the y coordinate of the y coordinate of the center mass of each individual piece multiplied times the area of each individual piece. We sum those up from i equals one to four because there's four sections in this case. And then we have to divide that by the sum of all the areas of the individual sections. So i equals one to four. So we need to do those two sums for the y direction. We'll do it again for the x direction. The center mass in the y direction for this triangle, remember it's always one-third the distance from the base to the height. If this is the base in the y direction, then we need to go one-third direction down, one-third the distance of the height right here in this direction that places the center mass about one-third times 10 in this direction, which is 3.33. In this direction, that would be 6.67 rounded to two decimal places. Remember that all the units here are indeed in centimeters. So this is equal to the y coordinate of the first section, which is 6.67 times the area of this triangle. It's half the base times the height. So half the base, which is 30, the height is 10. So one half the base times the height. That would be the area of the triangle. And that would be the, the y coordinate of the center mass of that triangle. The second piece is a rectangle that's a little bit easier. The center mass would be right in the middle. Again, we ignore the hole. Right in the middle in the y direction would be halfway between 10 and 30. That would be 20 times the area of the rectangle, which would be a width of 30 and a height of 20. 20 times 30, that would be the area. So that's the y coordinate of the center mass of the rectangular portion times the area, again, we include the whole portion, so we assume the whole is not there for the rectangle. Now we do a semicircular region right here, that's region number three. In the y direction, notice we have the equation right here, the y coordinate of a semicircular area is 4r divided by 3 pi. That would be 4r divided by 3 pi into this region right here from here on up. And we add that to 10 and 20, oh, that's a total of 30. The y coordinate, will be 30 plus 4 times r. Now the r of the semicircle region is 15 centimeters divided by 3 times pi. That is the y coordinate of the semicircle area. And then we multiply it times the area of the semicircle area, which is 1 half pi times the radius squared. The radius is 15 squared. And finally, we need to subtract the whole. I barely have enough room at the end of the board there, but let's try it. So the center of mass of the hole is right here in the middle. That would be a distance of 30 above the x-axis. So we subtract the hole. The y-coordinate of the center mass of the hole is at 30 centimeters. And then the area of the hole would be, notice the radius is 10 centimeters here. So it would be pi r squared. Pi times 10 squared. That's the hole. And we have to subtract it because it's missing. Then we divide the whole thing by the sum of all the areas. The area of the Triangle is right here, that'd be 1 half times 30 times 10 plus the area of the rectangle, which is 20 times 30 plus the area of the semicircle, which is 1 half times pi times 15 squared. And finally, we subtract the whole minus 30, oh, not 30, that's, that's the y coordinate, so that would be pi times 10 squared, it's a full circle. And that should give us the y coordinate of the center mass of this entire piece, including the hole. Uh, let's simplify things a little bit before we calculate it out. 
That would be uh, 15 times 10, that's 150. That's 6.67 times 150 plus, that's 400, that's 4,000, that's 12,000. Plus, uh, let's see here, can we simplify that? That would be 30 plus 60 divided by 3, which is 20 over pi. That's a 20. Goes in here. Um, times. That would be 220, 15 times 15 is 225. That's 225 divided by 2 times pi. And finally, that's 100 times 30. That's uh, 3,000 minus 3,000 times pi. And in the denominator, whoop, don't want to cut the 2 down here. There we go. In the denominator, we have, uh, that's 300 uh, divided by 2, which is 150, plus that would be 600. Uh, plus 225 divided by 2 pi and minus 100 pi. All right, here's the calculator. Let's go to it. 150 times 6.67 plus 12,000 plus the quantity 20 divided by pi plus 30 multiplied times 225 times pi divided by 2. I think I have that right so far. Minus 3,000 times pi equals. That should be the numerator. Let me write that down. I'll probably have to check it again just to make sure. So we have 16,428 in the numerator divided by the denominator. So divide by, that's 750 plus 112.5 times pi minus 100 times pi, and that would be 789. And finally, plus the equal button, that would be 20.8, 20.8 centimeters. So the y coordinate of the center mass, in this case, would be 20.8 centimeters ab above the x-axis, so the, just slightly above the center mass of the rectangular portion. Now let's do the same again for the x-direction. So the x-coordinate of the center mass is equal to the sum of all the, in this case, that would be of all the x-coordinates of the, each individual piece times the area of each individual piece, i equals 1 to 4, divided by the sum of all the areas of each individual piece, i equals 1 to 4. Remember, there's four pieces here. We need to do exactly the same in the x direction. So this is equal to the x, the x coordinate of the center mass of the rectangle would be one third the distance from the base to the height. So looking in this direction, this is the height, this is the base, one third, 30 centimeters, that would be 10 centimeters times the area of the rect of the uh, triangle, which is one half the base times the height, plus, now we take the rectangle here, it would be halfway from here to there, that would be distance of 15 centimeters, that is the x-coordinate of the center mass of the rectangular portion, times the area of the rectangle, which is 20 times 30, plus, the center mass of the semicircular region would be right there in the middle in the x direction that would be 15 centimeters in so plus 15 centimeters times the area of that semicircular section again we include that portion of the whole that would be one half pi times r squared 15 squared finally we have to subtract the whole the center mass of the whole is right here that's a distance of 15 centimeters minus 15 centimeters times the area of the whole, which is pi times 10 squared. We take the whole thing and we divide it by the area. Assuming the area is 789, we can take the same areas we did for the y direction. Assuming we did not make any errors, that would be 789. Now we have to simplify that. So that would be equal to 300, 3,000 divided by 2, that's 1,500, plus, that's 600, 6,000, that's 9,000, plus, oh, 
Oh, I better take a calculator on that one. That's 15 squared times 15 divided by 2 equals, that's uh, 1687.5 times pi. And finally, minus, that would be 100, that's 15,000 pi. 15,000, oh, 1,500 pi, right? That's 100, that's 1,000, that's 1,500 times pi. The whole thing divided by 789. Let's see what that adds up to. 1,500 plus 9,000 plus 1687.5 times pi, and then minus 1,500 times pi equals, that is a total of 11,089, divided by 789, divide by 789 equals, and we get 14.05, 14, point, uh, let's call it 14.1 centimeters. So that would be the x-coordinate of the center mass of this particular piece, and that is the y-coordinate of the center mass. So the center mass is somewhere in this region right there. That would be the center mass. So the center mass is equal to, in the x-direction, 14.1 centimeters. In the y-direction, 20.8 centimeters. Notice it really makes a big difference if we had to try to find the center mass here by taking slices and integrating and trying to find the equations of the boundaries. That would be very difficult to do. It is a lot easier simply to take each section, find the center mass of each section in the x and the y direction, add those together when you multiply times the area, divide the whole thing by the area, and there is the coordinates of the center mass. And that's how it's done.